Welcome back to our channel. Today, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to create a free and unlimited Windows 10 Remote Desktop Protocol, RDP. This RDP is not only free, but also open source, providing you with flexibility and accessibility. And if it ever stops working, I'll show you how to quickly rebuild it. Let's dive into the detailed tutorial. Section one, creating a GitHub account and workflow. Step one, creating a GitHub account. Firstly, open your preferred browser and search for GitHub. Once on the official website, either sign in if you have an existing account or create a new one. If you're new to GitHub, click on the sign up button and follow the prompts. You'll need a valid email address to complete the account creation process. Step two, creating a new repository. After logging in, navigate to your GitHub dashboard and click on the new button to create a new repository. Give your repository a name, such as Free Windows 10 RDP, and choose the privacy setting. For this tutorial, set it to private to ensure security. Finally, click on the Create Repository button to proceed. Step three, setting up workflow. Now that your repository is created, let's set up a workflow. Click on the Actions tab in your repository and then select Set up a workflow yourself. This will open a new file where you can define your workflow using YAML syntax. You can either upload a pre-existing workflow file or write your workflow code. In this case, we'll paste the provided workflow code, which you can find in the video description. Once done, click on Start Commit, and then Commit New File to save your workflow. Section 2. Creating an ngrok account and connecting with GitHub. Step 4. Generating a secret key. To enable secure communication between GitHub and ngrok, we'll generate a secret key. In your GitHub repository, navigate to the Settings tab and then click on Secrets in the left-hand menu. Here, click on New Repository Secret and enter a name for your secret, such as ngrok auth token. Now, we need to obtain the ngrok authentication token. Step 5. Creating an ngrok account. Open a new tab in your browser and search for ngrok. Sign up for an account using your preferred method such as Google or GitHub. Once signed in, you'll find your authentication token on the ngrok dashboard. Copy this token and head back to your GitHub repository secrets page. Paste the token into the value field and save the secret. Section three, running the workflow and connecting to RDP. Step six, running the workflow. Now that our GitHub repository and NGROK account are connected, it's time to run the workflow. Go back to the Actions tab in your repository, select your workflow from the list, and click on Run Workflow. This will trigger the workflow to build and set up the RDP environment.
Step 7. Connecting to RDP. Once the workflow is complete, access your NGROC dashboard to obtain the RDP connection details. You'll find the URL, port username, and password required to connect to your Windows 10 RDP. Use these credentials in your preferred RDP client software to establish a secure connection. Step 8. Testing speed and storage. After successfully connecting to your RDP, test the internet speed and storage capabilities. Open a web browser within the RDP environment and perform a speed test to check the internet speed. Additionally, download and upload some files to evaluate the storage performance. Step 9. Wrap up. Congratulations on setting up your free Windows 10 RDP. I hope this detailed tutorial was helpful. Stay tuned to our channel for more tutorials on RDP setups and other tech-related content. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for updates. If you have any questions or encounter issues during the setup, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to us on social media. Thank you for watching.